Hi, good morning guys. My name is Rahul Verma and I am your tour facilitator for today's tour. So let's join this tour. Come on in. Okay, uh, let me explain uh, regarding the location of this place. This place is actually located a uh, 30 minutes drive from uh, main Fatehabad road that's the city center. Uh, Fatehabad road is a place where uh, majorly most of the hotels are located. So since it's very early in the morning and we have driven so if it has already taken 30 minutes. If we drive in uh, peak hours that's the daytime so obviously it might take up to 60 minutes. When we talk of Agra, we only think about Taj Mahal and Red Fort. But do you actually know, in Agra there is one monument called as Red Taj Mahal. So let us explore this beautiful monument. This place is called Roman Catholic Cemetery. This cemetery is the oldest one in the northern part of India. If we see this graveyard is very small and the oldest graveyards here belong to the Armenian merchants who came to India in 16th century. There are many graveyards which belong to historians, soldiers, artisans and many more from Europe and from India. The centerpiece of this enclave is the Red Taj. This is actually built by the Red Sandstone. This is equally fascinating and uh, it is a small version of the iconic Taj Mahal. Like the original Taj Mahal, this is also an ode to love. But with the role reversal, this was actually built by the grieving wife of Colonel John Hessing. He was a Dutch mercenary from Utrecht, Holland, who arrived in India in 18th century. He was born in 1739. He actually served in the Maratha army. He commanded 3000 Maratha troops in 1795 and defeated the Hyderabad Nizams. He served in Maratha army against the East India Company in the Second Anglo-Maratha War. Due to ill health, he resigned in 1800 and took the position of commandant at the Agra fort. He died in 1803. This structure is almost similar to the original Taj Mahal except the four minarets which are missing. This is because Hessing's wife ran out of all the money she had and had spent the entire money on the main structure which is the dome. It is a fact that India has always attracted people from all across the globe for its rich heritage, culture and natural resources. Unlike the Britishers who came for fame, fortune and adventure. During this time, the individuality of all the people who are buried here have lost in the dust of time. So hi guys, uh, hope you all had a wonderful time. This was the red uh, Taj Mahal as we have seen. So Agra is not only about uh, Red Fort and Taj Mahal, it's more beyond that. So whenever you visit next in Agra, please ensure that you visit this lovely monument, a common man's Red Taj Mahal. Till next time, I'll see you. Thank you so much.